Hi, and welcome to the Stack Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at improving the feedback. In the last video, we created this simple integration problem. Now in the preview window, I've set how questions behave to adaptive mode, as this lets me repeatedly check my answer. First, just try putting in the correct answer using lowercase c as your constant of integration. See that we get the answer correct. But if we use something like uppercase c, because our answer test is checking for algebraic equivalence, and lowercase and uppercase c aren't equivalent, we get the question wrong. However, you probably don't care which variable name your student uses as the constant of integration. Furthermore, we want to give a little bit better feedback here, other than just, your answer was wrong. To fix this, go back into editing your stack question and scroll down to potential response tree. We'll use a better answer test, in particular, int. This also tests for algebraic equivalence between ANTS1 and TA. However, it accepts any variable name for the constant of integration. It also gives automatic feedback if the student, for example, forgot to include a constant of integration or accidentally differentiated instead. Some answer tests require that you specify test options. In this case, we need to specify the variable x. Now let's add another node. Here we might, for example, check that the student's answer is in a factorized form. So if node 1 passes, we'll set next to node 2. And under node 2, we'll use the answer test fac form, which both checks that the student's answer is factorized and the student and the teacher's answer are equivalent. However, in this case, we already know that they are equivalent. Use strip int const to remove the constant of integration from ants1 with variable x. And again, because we already know that the student's answer is equivalent to the model answer, we can just test it against itself. This test also requires the variable in the test option, that is x. Note that by default, this node doesn't change the score. So here it adds zero or subtracts zero. This is good. We don't want to penalize a student for not leaving their answer in factorized form. But we might want to give some feedback. Now, fact form does give automatic feedback, but if we want to give our own, we can set quiet to yes, which suppresses the automatic feedback. And when false, we might write something like, good job on getting Question right. Remember, there is no need to expand the brackets. If you save changes and then scroll right back down to potential response tree, you can see an overview. So here we have node one, where we use the answer test int. That's false. The score sets equal to zero. If it's true, it's equal to one and goes on to node 2, which checks for factorized form. If it's true, it adds 0. If it's false, it subtracts 0, so it doesn't change the score. You can add as many notes as you want to give very specific feedback, or perhaps partial credit. The last thing you might consider is to add some general feedback. This is feedback that is shown to all students, whether or not they got the question right. So this is a good place to put something like a worked solution. That concludes this tutorial. You should now be able to work with better feedback in the stack.